here! I'm here! Please help me! Please, what on earth is going on? Be careful! They're armed! Who are you talking about? Him and his damn psychopath! Uh, okay, I'm calling the police. Yes, do it now! Hey, wait! Are you still here? I am. Stay calm. Please, don't leave me! Listen to me. Go to the infirmary on the first floor. I'm the only one who holds the key. We'll wait for the police to gather there. Okay. 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 Oh, Gloria, please, close the door! What's going on? Close this damn door! Oh, oh calm oh. down. Tell me what happened. Oh, my God. Please, I'm here now. Can you hear me? I can't believe that. Oh, my. Your heart is going no. to explode. No! Calm down, please. You have to take something. Where is the... Oh. I don't have any idea what happened, but now you're making me anxious. Mr. Felton killed his wife, ripped her apart, but he still believes he killed his daughter. God, I can't, I, I can't, I can't believe it. They always slept in separate rooms. Their marriage was a disaster, disgusting. Even though Ariana knew about Richard's past, or Jennifer, but this... You also knew? Of course I knew, but I would have never imagined that... And you didn't do anything? You indulged it. You kept on supporting his barbaric experiences. The mesmerism, the phenoxyl, everything else. I know that his disease, his personal matters, or the disappearance of his daughter made him a killer. I knew the cure wasn't going anywhere. It was more of a necessity. An, an addiction. addiction. An addiction? It doesn't make much difference how we call it. We don't choose our cure or our vice. They are the ones that rule. Don't you smoke? Are we seriously talking about this? No. I'm just saying that I knew about his bad habits. As his nurse, I knew how unorthodox and how inefficient they were. But that doesn't make me his accomplice. We have to go. They'll be here any minute now. Is there anyone with Mr. Felton? Some kind of weird red nun. One from the painting? Here, in the house? We have to stay here. Leaving now is out of the question. There are bars and the windows and doors. We're blocked. Here, drink this. What is this? It's just to slow your heartbeat down. Did you also know that Celeste came back and left again? I didn't want to believe it. He kept on saying it. He saw his Jennifer and everything. And I would even be Jennifer to him at times. Richard suffered from his father's anger. A crazy, lunatic psychopath. Split personality. Forced to live as a man against her will. All her life. It's not surprising this happened. The police are on their way? Of course. I called them a little while ago. <sighs> Gloria, how did you get in? The doors and windows have bars. We're trapped inside. 
Until now, I've had your keys. Your keys? You left them there on purpose until I found them. I know who you really are. Uh, uh, Trap me. I missed you a lot, sister. The child's dream had been phase, with open wings of moth as the blaze. And when his mother screamed that much, a black red death bestowed his touch. <laughs> Who are you? Why did you come here? Who is my daughter Celeste for you? What? What the hell are you? No, 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 impossible. Send her away. Some days when, when my thoughts are clear, I could even recognize which are my Sensation of I am living everything again. Oh, my father back home that forces me to dress, speak, live as Richard. I was Jennifer. I thought I'd forgotten everything with time. The more Celeste grew, the more I remembered who I was. Without knowing, I started calling her Jennifer. I was obsessed. She liked it when I called her Jennifer. <laughs> and she left. Why I did she come back? I would have to stop her once and for all. For me. For, me. for my father. My father. Stop. Just shut up. I told you already, stop talking or I'll cut your tongue off. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Stop 
Ding. Stop moving. Oh, here you are. What did you do? Why? You're fucking sick. Oh, God. No. 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 Follow the swing. Don't stop looking at it. Fucking sick! You poisoned your brain with all of your bullshit! You were sick murderers! Listen to me, bitch! You think I didn't see what you were hiding in your pretty purse? You wanted to drug me, make me blind, right? Just like the old times. I loved you. I trusted you. You were one of us. But you don't deserve to be. I survived not once, but two times. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're not my sister anymore. <laughs> Listen, who doesn't live can't remember. Oh. What kind of life is it to suffer that way? You deserve peace. No, no, no. Mr. Felton, please don't listen to her! She is Jennifer. She is your daughter. She represents everything you couldn't have. It was taken from you. And now, she's in front of you. This is how you killed your wife, Mr. Felton! Listen to me. Don't listen you to her! the other times, but you I'm can't right, now. Sorry. She can't we escape. this afternoon. You know how to do end you this. remember? You know what you have to do. I gave you that picture. The picture when you were a little girl. Remember? I told you. I could have helped you. Help you find a cure. Oh, no. Oh, Mr. Felton! Everything. No! Please, I beg you. Stop! No! No! no!
this time. Trapped in here! 
You can't escape! <sighs> Celeste was a wise one. I don't think you share that attribute.
So, you're still here. I can't be looking that great. Oh, this isn't how I want to die. I didn't want it to be like this. I should have never have come here. It's all my fault. It would have happened anyway. They didn't give a damn about the disease. They only used it to improve the phenoxyl. The moths were the final piece for the cure and to show the world how much they were worth. They had noticed how moths were acting on Felton after he'd caught the disease in Egypt in 58. Oh, he deserved it. We were all test animals at the plantation. They used us. They made us believe we had been touched by the hand of God, giving us the disease as a sign. But then trouble came. The eyes burning, the bandage, the horrible pain in the head. All of this? Just forget. Phenoxyl was created as an anti-psychotic drug for war veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. To forget the horrors. As a father who ruined his daughter's life, forcing her to live as a man. Felton is just like all of us. He was a victim. He could only count on the results of the experiments of the plantation when they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. Wyman, that fucking bastard. Synthesizing parasites and mixing them with the drug only showed him he could do better. That it was possible to modify and control memories. Our memories. But we were only able to control the moths and be sick. Very sick. And those damn memories will come up again sooner or later. Now I understand. Felton always told the truth. He just wanted to protect Celeste from all of this. From himself. From his Jennifer. The sessions were for her to just forget forget everything forever. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But I still have unanswered questions. It's not too late. This is not your end yet. It may be the end of everything, and maybe we're already dead, and neither of us knows it. <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. <laughs> maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't have. Yes, you could have, sister. But I could never forget that day. All oh, the screams, the flames. How could you? You wanted to propagate it as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. And we were wrong. But you left us there to die. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. 
It's all confusing. I, I don't. Anyway, it's over now. No, I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are what you have become. Look at yourself. I am nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. You know, now I remember when I was young and I would lie on the grass. Oh, I loved doing this. I would stay for hours staring at the emptiness and seeing myself somewhere else where I could go far away. And now all these memories hurt. Oh, it hurts so much. Why can't we just forget? Why? 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 Why do we have to remember? Because... That is how we save our memories from oblivion. She is still alive. You will find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? If God is real, I hope he is made of this love. I hope you will both forgive me one day. I already have. Bad habit. Smoke. Uh, forgiveness. What was in the bag? What did she find? A goodbye. A goodbye that spoke of hope. Hope? Do you mean to say that, despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea of finding her? No. Not at all. <laughs> 